to Swill Entertainment. All right, so we're playing some more Grim Dawn. And I'm going ahead and give my, my druid some love. All right. Let me see. Now, I got some other characters as well I've been playing with a lot. Um, of course, they're, most of them are in their 20s. You know, some of them are in their 30s. A couple of them are in their 50s. You know, that kind of thing. Um, but yeah, trying to get some druid action here. Conjurer is 52, by the way. Um, haven't really had a whole lot of time to play like I would like. Um, but it is what it is. So let's go ahead and get into this druid here, guys. And I'm going to show you what I've been doing. Now, so far, it's, it's pretty decent. I'm not going to give it like the best um character title or anything like that um uh, but we're gonna go ahead and uh talk about the good old drood because the drood is so rude all right so let me see let me show you guys what i has got going on all right so all kinds of different ways guys there's never a right there's never a wrong way to level you pick which way you want to do it if you want to follow a build you have to always keep in mind that the builds always, you have to have certain types of gear before you can actually get that maximum potential on these gears. But what I'm doing right now, I'm just experimenting a little bit here. Um, I was probably gonna go more towards the Shaman. Um, it seems like that's probably the best route for starting out. Um, usually what happens on most of the characters I played, I and mean, I'm experimenting on this one, hardcore. You want to, um, Max out one skill that you're going to use all the time. Just max it out all the way. Okay. And then you can go for there. That's that's going to carry you all the way till however long until you start noticing that it's not working for you anymore. Then, of course, you're going to put skill points in anything else. Now, me, I'm coming from other MMOs, other RPGs. And usually what happens is, you know, you're used to pushing a bunch of different buttons. All right. So me, I get kind of bored a little bit. Not so much. Not saying that game is boring or anything like that because by far it's not boring. However... I like to mash up on some buttons, you know? So I try to, you know, come up with some different ways and different things and different skills that I can use along the way, all right? So that's what I'm gonna be working on right now. I'm trying to figure out this is much better than what I've got on right now. And it does not seem like it is. It's got a little bit more physique on there, which I need some physique to be able to equip certain types of weapons. But I'm also finding that I need to have some more spirit, all right? I don't really know the best skills set for this character. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, so let me go back to what I was doing here. Now, I'm going to experiment with Savagery. It seems like it might be pretty decent. I'm not going to say it's the best skill or anything like that. But like I said, this character's under 30. It's under 40. It's under 50. It's under 100. All right? So, yeah, we're going to go with that. Um, I'm also using my totem here, my Wendigo totem. Put however many points you want to put into it. This is not like a definitive guide or anything like that. Um, the Nasty of the Boar, I'm kind of experimenting with that. And I don't even know why I would even put more points into I looked at another build actually, but they don't have points in the win. Maybe at 100, it doesn't really matter. Win um, Devil, it's not that big of a deal for you, I guess, or them. Um, but I think leveling, I would probably start maxing this one out, honestly, because Win Devil is the best. <laughs> it's strong, man. And you can command it. I didn't know you can, it was like, it's pretty much like a pet. So you also want to put your pet um, attack or your pet command. Yeah, your pet attack on your bar as well. If you want to control them, let them attack whatever mobs that you want them to attack. So I think that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to probably go more towards the Wind Devil. And then I'll just take some points out of it as I get higher. And I notice it's not really working for me anymore. Now, I'm also using a, a ranged weapon, which I'm not a big fan of ranged weapons in this game. Um, oh, we got to secure a bird witch bush. I'm trying to see what I got to do. I'm behind. Now, I actually helped somebody do the... Um, which village it's the warden cellar so we gotta go right here man we gotta go all the way back up through here so let's go back through here and do this out now i did the ward like i said did someone else's warden yesterday i didn't get credit of course um but that's okay i want to summon my little wind devils here wind devils are the best man i'm still trying to get used to buttons you can just you know pet control pet command or pet attack let them go wherever you want them to go. And they're going to they're gonna go ahead and do what you want them to do. It's never going to be one of those things where you're just like, well, damn, this sucker's not moving anywhere. I'm just going to go ahead and put these guys out. And I can summon three. Now, I had a piece of gear where I guess it gave me, I didn't realize it, it gave me two extra ones. So I had a total of five. And that was nice. 
You know, I had this one dude um, was pretty much, I'm not going to say power level me, but he was higher level than I was. I was like 15. He was like 32-ish. Um, and he just ran through. You know, it wasn't like super fast or anything like that. But it was very efficient. It was fun. You know, got a few levels out of here. I'm level 23 now. I stayed there not too long. It wasn't terrible. I'm going to start getting used to this gun. I don't know if I want to start using a two-handed weapon or if I want to have a one-handed weapon or gun. And then go with a uh, like a caster offhand or something like that. That's pretty much what I'm thinking right now. I'm just trying to like I'm a little bit theory crafting a little bit here, guys. Like I said, I'm not really copying a guide. I was I was at first just to see an idea because I don't know what you know what I should be doing as far as like skill goes. But like I said, you want to if you find a skill you use, then it's to your benefit to uh, experiment. Don't really do a cut. There's no really cu cookie cutter builds or anything like that. You'll get bored with that kind of stuff fast if you do. You don't want to be a brainless drone doing all these little meme builds. All right, so we're gonna rape some face here. Oh, it's not even on veteran. I need to put it on veteran, guys. I didn't realize that. I don't. I do not like playing on non-veteran. <laughs> I hate it. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and get this little deal here and then we're going to go ahead and probably switch it to veteran and whatnot it's a one-handed sword uh... let's see one-handed ranged i don't know why they're giving me like these low level everything i'm getting is low level for the most part and these these totems or these uh these wind devils don't last very long that's the bad part I would I would wish that they would last a little bit longer, but they just they 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 do their thing. When they're out, they do a lot of damage. Oh, I need to put my my buffs on too. Forgot about that. Well, like I said, I'm gonna probably put more points into this because this is I'm using my ranged weapons and I'm good. As long as the mobs don't come up to me, they're good to go. You know, and I have currency on another character, so I can always transfer currency. Um, <clears throat> to any other character that I would like. And I don't really have a favorite, man. Like, I was, you know, Conjurer. Um, Druid is not bad. I mean, I might try something else with the, uh, that has the Wind Devils. That'd be nice. Let me control these guys. So you can just, like, control them. See how they're going around the screen, bouncing around. They're not doing that by themselves. However, they will if they go. If the mob goes a little bit close to you, they will um, go up to uh, start protecting you as much as they can. Yeah, I'm just all over the place, aren't I? I'm used to my my pet attack being on the right click. I got it on the left click this time. I get used to that. All right, so it's already been restored. We've already been this way, so we're gonna go down this other path. And see what we can see. Probably nothing. Hmm. All right, so back out the door. So we just need to go back and get these other parts done, as far as like the warden and all those other things. Get that stuff. Um, oh shoot! I did not do this. Didn't take any time at all. But I do notice that the character is getting a little bit stronger. It was weak at first, but now it seems like it's, you know, starting to hold its own a little bit. So I figured it's going to be cool. Just got to get those little, get some little bit of run speed on here, and then I can go from there. So there is nothing wrong with a little bump and grind. All right, so we got to go all the way up there, man. I could have just went to, to this one. All right, so got a little bit of stutter action going. All right, so that. This one's not going, it's too far. 
But we just need to go ahead and power draw, um, power dash through here. I'm not gonna fight everything. Like I was already killing, I was already clearing all this already. I'm not here to get, like kill every single mob. That's kind of lame. I want to go ahead and zoom through some of this um, content because we're already 23 and we haven't killed the the warden for ourselves. So I want to go and get that little totem over there. Can we get it from here? Golly, dude. We'll go and get this. We'll go and get that. We shot something over there. What the hell? Alright, there's another chase us. We're gonna have three packs on us. Let's go ahead and get these guys. Faces raped. I'll shoot the front. You go ahead and handle the back there, wind devils. Oh, here comes Mr. And I got cold damage on here too. So that is working out a little bit. I just put a little bit on there. So that's that's what I'm kind of like going for. I was thinking it probably like a lightning zap or something like that. Um that might be a possibility if it's a, if that's a thing, I don't even know. I'll know once I get in my 30s. Once I get in the 30s. I'll know all the little possibilities and things like that. I don't think these mobs are... They're not going to be too hard to kill. They're already dying already, man. Look at this. This is a raping face, man. Raping face. <clears throat> Come on, totems. Alright, so do we want to get keep the bleeding damage on there? Probably. Crit damage. Fire damage. Chaos damage. Offense ability. Energy regeneration per second, skill cooldown. 15% skill, skill cooldown, is, that seems kind of cool. Um, you get the granite skill, void, fire, nova, chance to attack. So that might be kind of decent. I want to try that out just to see what's what, you know? Let's put this on. We'll keep what we have here. Not necessarily going to throw it away. It's because it's on this little spot. Doesn't mean I'm going to throw it away. Um, this is kind of nice. Nice. Oh, this gun away though. I'm gonna get rid of that. There's the lightning rod. I don't see myself using any. Um... And I got my filters. My filters are super strong right now. We got another skill we can have a chance to use. Is it gonna be passive? I wish these skills would say if they're passive or or not. Active or passive. That would be very helpful. Oh, that's nice. It does. It goes that little purple thing we just shot out. That's cool. Yeah. If I get a whole bunch of mobs on me, yes, sir. All right, so we're just going to run through the rest of this. We're not going to kill this. I got to un unlock that zone. Here, portal to Burwich. These guys are going to have to follow me. We're going to get a bunch of mobs. That's cool, though. Oh man, we just missed our turn. See, those those windows are tearing these things up, man. This is a pretty good. This is a pretty decent character, though. It really is. It's pretty decent so far. Damn, look at these guys getting face pushed in, man. Sucker's got the meat sweats. They said swill is coming. Oh my god! This wheel is coming! Hmm. I'll take these guys. Shoot. Fill them up. Get them, get them wind doubles. Alright, I thought there was a way I can go through here, but I guess not. Damn. 
I am not a fan of this zone. This zone is not my friend. Used to like it, but not so much anymore. Yeah, these guys are getting... Man. And of course, this is normal, so this isn't like... What is that? Oh, repair site. Do we have any dynamite? Not enough materials. I don't have any dynamite in my... Hold on, let me check. Well, I always have dynamite on deck, man. What's going on? It's not going to hurt to look. Dynamite on deck? Yeah. Yeah. I don't. I don't have dynamite. Got the little royal jelly, tainted brain matter, but I don't have dynamite on this character. I actually know I do have someone on another character, but I don't remember which one, so whatever. Oh, we can pause the game. Back to our spot. We we'll just have to run through. And I'm all the way on this part of the map. <laughs> Crap. Oh, we're here. Oh, there's the portal. We need to go to the to the west. So we're almost there. We're making some great strides and successful stories. So let's ride over this way. Can't do that yet. Yes, you can. Wish this thing would be a little bit more permanent. If these wind devils were permanent, this character I think would be OP. Oh mother freaking P. Look at this, man. They're not even touching me. Hmm. There we go. Gotta secure the portal. So we'll report back to John Bourbon. I know I didn't have to do that, but I always out of habit, I always push the L button to get my get my portal out there. So John Bourbon should be our friend here. Alright, time to get that good old warden. Speak to the emissary. But there are many more ethereals out there. Have a homestead. Morning. You must be the kid that's cry before we prepare the bridge leading northwest to Devil's Crossing. Oh. Oh, so we don't have to do the warden. Okay, so where do you got credit then? All right, nice. I don't have to cut. I don't have to fight him again. Um, we do need to find Crestbob's apprentice in the cellars beneath Burwood's estates. We kind of need to do that. And then travel to Homestead through the mountain depths or deeps. All right, so we need to go this way. We need to find the cellar. Once we get to the cellar, we'll be all right. So we got to really, I don't know, man. I'm trying to read this stuff sometimes. I'm just like, ugh. So perhaps... The apprentices and one of these little areas that we didn't even go through yet. So we'll go, we'll go around. Hopefully we can find them. Because we did just go through and like, we zoomed through this. Oh man, we're taking some damage because of the poison. So I think we need to get some resistance. Definitely want to get some better weapons, man. These weapons are crap. Or every, I mean, the gear that I have is not that great. Why did we get this to- Oh, man. These things spawn again? 
I figure out why in the heck we didn't get the uh I don't even know why. I'm gonna zoom through here. You know, kill everything. This is like very time consuming when you do that. Recommended, but it's very time consuming. I wanna make sure I got all these little wind doubles I can keep. You guys are nice. I wouldn't trade him in for any other pet. Damn. My totem's up. I don't really need the totem though, honestly. I don't think this, this build really needs the totem. I'm not gonna lie to you. All right, so we're getting some decent XP. Yeah, killing everything in bulk. Now, I don't know if there's any spot that I can, like, go to and, like, grind, like, pull a bunch of mobs, grind. I haven't really found areas like that. Because I don't mind, I don't mind questing. I'm not a fan of questing, but I'd rather just go ahead and AOE grind, pull a bunch of mobs, get some experience that way. That's just what I would rather do. I put that stuff out late. Come on, Toad. Let's go here. Uh, wins. You guy trying to sneak up on me, man. I thought for sure I can get the map bigger, at least. But I guess not. But this is pretty much the build in a nutshell, man. Not really, like I said, it's not really a build guide, but I you guys a glimpse of what I'm working on here. This, I think this might be a, a character I can I can see myself leveling. Conjurer, definitely. I'm kind of like lost in that one, on that character. Gotta take a little bit of small break. Grind up some other character here, man, because after a while, it's, it gets, it gets kind of boring. Playing the same character over and over. I'm an altaholic, so... Just standing here, man. Not taking that much damage right now. I'm sure at some point, if I were like on, ooh, dead beater, one-handed mace. Why am I getting weapons? I mean, I got my loot filter on. I thought I did anyway. A lot of people say don't put your loot filter on until you get like some gear. Like you don't want to put your loot filter on at level one, because then you're not gonna get any drop. I've done it. Got like no drops. Um, I don't want a dagger. I don't want a scepter. Capture. Yeah, I can take those caster off hands. I want resistance. As I reset my filters, I forgot about that. I don't know if I really should be doing always show uniques or always show double rare. I don't know. Um, I definitely want some crit. I want some all of this. Speed would be nice. Um, I want some bleed. I want lightning and cold. And maybe fire will be nice, but... Not necessary. If I get it, I get it. If not, then whatever. I think that's going to be... Oh, shoot. Look at that. Plus 7 to all damage. Damage to all pets. I don't know if that counts towards the uh, the wind devils. Rare metal, vitality, bleeding damage. That's going to be a good one to put on. Matter of fact, let me put that on right now. Where the heck is it? Oh, I can't use it yet until 30. Game Builder Shadows. I don't want to see. I just want to see stuff that I can, I, I can put on now. A lot of bleeding damage. Cunning. Offensive ability. Look at this. Cornet of Flesh Hulk. This ear is not bad. Okay. I don't think this is going to be sufficient. 
That's definitely not sufficient. We got a lot of stuff we need to get rid of. A lot of crappy gear, man. All right. Um, we need to get back up this way, go through here, and then go to the right. Yeah, man, look at that bleeding damage, boy. All right, so 24. And I think, like I said, Wind Devil is probably going to be something okay for... We got to find this guy in the cellar here. I don't know where he is. We're just going to just comb the whole area. I don't know if there's something I can make the, the Wind Devils last longer. That would be nice. I'm sure there's something. here I guess not I guess not little baby I'm getting confused on where to go. What the hell, dude? <laughs> she whiz. I'm shooting. Let's go. I hate when it does that. All right, so he is definitely not this way. So let's go check this out real quick, and then we'll go back down, I guess. Well, maybe we might not find this guy. I don't know. He's around. I want to send these wind devils up this way, man. Using the map will kind of kind of help you a little bit. So that sucker is not this way. Sucker. Yo, what's up with these damn maps? go back up this way up and around and then down up around and then down I hate this area not a fan that's for sure
All right, so that sucker is not on this floor. We have established that. All right, so this is the wooden door. And this one takes us back out. Oh, no, it doesn't. Oh, we haven't been here. Oh, ho, ho! All right, so let me check out this little layout. Come on, Wind Devils, let's go. Let's get these mofos. Mofos. Okay, so this is getting cleared up. What is this down here? What's this right chill? Nothing. Hmm. Damn, dude. Maybe I should start rolling my camera around a little bit. Okay, Wind Devil. This is too far. I get that Wind cri er, Aether Crystal. Pick that stuff up. Down here. Devil touched ammo. Nothing. Where are you going? Like I said, usually they show up on a little mini map. You'll see the uh, the person. I'm not even sure if this is the area that, um... The guy's at. Okay, this is the warden area, man, because... Going down south from here. Yeah, down here is going to take me to the warden. And I don't really want the warden. So this is the wrong way. Now, if you guys have a certain type of build you guys play, and you can definitely recommend for like a newer player or a new-ish player, let me know in the comments below. Definitely want to hear from you guys. Um, but yeah, I'm going to go ahead and wrap this one up here. I think this is going to be about it for this one here, guys. I think this build is fantastic. Definitely look to be playing this one for a while. But either way, guys, uh, like, comment, share, and don't forget to subscribe and follow. And I'll see you guys on the next one. Peace.